an interesting book that you can read now. Notre Dame is on fire for the last 15 hours. Some good and bad stories. That's what we are going to cover today. Good morning, everyone. Today is 18th April 2019, and we are going to cover current affairs uh, for today in the form of quiz. Welcome to Morning Tales. The first question for today is which bank has launched NRI Insta online paperless account opening procedure for NRIs residing in FATF countries? A lot of questions that can be created from this particular question, which I am also going to tell you guys. First of all, let's answer this question. The answer to this question, if you know, please put it in the comment section below so that I know that you guys are engaged regularly. Uh, the answer to this question is C, IDBI Bank. Now, more questions that can be created. Number one, has IDBI Bank officially changed its name? The answer is no, RBI has uh, declined uh, the uh, proposal by IDBI to change its name. Second question, which of the following organizations hold majority shareholding in IDBI Bank? The answer is not Government of India. The answer is LIC, Life Insurance Corporation. Recently, LIC brought 50, more than 51% of stake in IDBI Bank. Third question, is IDBI a public sector bank or a private sector bank now because the Government of India has sold its stake to LIC? The answer is it's a public sector bank. The classification has not been changed to private sector bank because LIC is a wholly government owned company and therefore it is said that IDBI will retain its public sector bank character. So these are the questions that can be asked in the examination from you also important for the upcoming examinations and the question that uh, we had for today uh, NRI Insta online paperless account. What is the purpose of this account? The purpose of this move is to allow NRIs to open accounts without requirement of any paper. So it's a paperless accounting procedure that has been created by IDBI Bank in order to attract more NRI accounts. Let's come to the next story or the next question for today, which is very important. Who is the writer of the book, The Over Story? The answer to this question, if you know it, based on the picture mentioned here, based on the picture shown here, please mention your answers in the comment section below so that I know that you guys are uh, watching this with full interest. The answer to this question is Richard Powers. Let me tell you some things about this particular book and about Richard Powers. Uh, uh, this particular novel, it's, it's a fiction and it's about nine Americans whose unique life experiences with trees bring them to address the destruction of forests. It's a very futuristic and a very relevant book that I'm going to read for sure now that I know about it. And I would request you also to guys try and read this these kind of books. It was uh, uh, inspired uh, to, he, he was inspired to write this book uh, while he was teaching in Stanford University. And he was also shortlist, shortlisted in 2018 for Man Booker Prize. Why? is this book important now well the answer is he was awarded the 2019 pulitzer prize for fiction for this particular book so another question there two questions writer of the overstory richard powers richard powers has written which book overstory uh, 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 winner of pulitzer prize for fiction 2019 the answer is richard powers and the book is overstory a lot of questions that have been created here another question connected with pulitzer prize uh, Pulitzer Prize is conferred in the fields of what? Very interesting question, very important question. Uh, please answer it in the comment section below. The answer to this question is C, literature, journalism and music. Well, a little bit about Pulitzer Prize, if you don't know about it already, a lot of people think that it's only in literature, but it covers journalism as well as music. It was uh, started or established in 1917 and it is only for compositions and works done in the United States. And a uh, total of 21 categories are awarded, awarded on a regular basis, uh, yearly basis. And there is a gold medal also, which is provided for the prize for public service. Okay, so that all those things are important. And it is presented by which university? Presented by Columbia University. That is also important. Uh, some ba basic facts, some basic information, some basic knowledge that I believe you should be aware about. Okay, uh, let's come to the next question. Hashtag one day for children tournament has been launched by ICC cricket for good in association with which organization? The answer to this question is UNICEF A. If you know the uh, full form of UNICEF, please write it in the comment section below. I want to see how many of you can actually write it correctly, can answer it correctly, because it is an interesting uh, thing that I'm going to tell you uh, about the expansion of the name UNICEF. Uh, it was uh, created in 1946 
uh, under United Nations General Assembly. The original name of UNICEF was United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund, which stands for UNICEF, United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund. And the purpose was to take care of children and women who were uh, uh, who had who were devastated by the World War Two. But the name uh, later was changed in 1953. The name was changed to United Nations Children Fund, United Nations Children's Fund. So international and emergency was dropped because UNICEF was expanded to developing nations as well and was not limited to devastated women and children in developed nations. Uh, which were affected by World War II. So all those things are important. I think you should know these things. Uh, well, the answer to this question is UNICEF. One day for children tournament, very important. ICC, cricket and UNICEF. Let's come to the next question. Union Ministry of Home Affairs has approved rena renaming of Dash to Shiv Dham. The question can also be asked in another manner wherein you can be asked. Uh, Union Ministry of Home Affairs has approved renaming uh, uh, to Shivdham of which place or renaming of uh, Durjanpur to what? So the answer is B, Durjanpur. Uh, well, well, it's a place in Haryana. I think that's all you need to know. Very factual question. Nothing else is important. This particular question is very important and let's read a little bit about Bandhan Bank as well. Uh, the question is which of the following bank is merging with Grah Finance Limited? The answer is B, Bandhan Bank. Bandhan Bank is headquartered in Kolkata, West Bengal. Uh, the chairman of Bandhan Bank is uh, Anup Kumar Sinha and the CEO who is also the founder of Bandhan Bank is Chandra Shekhar Ghosh. Bandhan Bank was actually a not-for-profit not or an NGO which was created in 2001. The purpose was financial inclusion and women empowerment but in 2015 it uh, started or it transformed itself and converted to a bank and uh, it was the first instance that a microfinance entity actually transformed into a universal bank but now it has merged with Grah Finance Limited. So those are the things I think were important and you should have known about them. One of the most important news, a sad news that we're going to cover today, who is the author of the Hunchback of Notre Dame? That's a question that can actually be asked in the examination. Well, you need to know about Notre Dame. You need to know about uh, the book, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. The answer is D, Victor Hugo. Uh, interesting phenomena is that he actually wrote this book in the year 1831. And after this only, uh, Notre Dame, uh, you know, a major restoration project in Notre Dame was started. Before that, it had laid in... Uh, destruction it it had been ignored uh, in in paris france so important things about notre dame that you should be aware about it is a, a cathedral that means a church in uh, paris france and it is one of the most popular in fact even more popular than uh, the eiffel tower uh, annually 12 to 13 million people actually visit notre dame and it caught fire uh, uh, yesterday and uh, it was the last time i checked it was still burning uh, majority of its roof had been burned and uh, it's, it's a very old medieval Catholic cathedral which was uh, created in Paris, France and it's it's one of the finest examples of French Gothic architecture. So those are the things I think you should be aware about. So that was all about uh, the Notre Dame as well as the book The Hunchback of Notre Dame which was written in the year 1831 and can be asked in the examination just because of uh, this sad event that happened uh, yesterday. Okay, so that was all uh, for today. I hope you liked this particular video. If you did, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, press the bell icon to ensure that you, don't, you do not miss out on daily current affairs, daily morning tales. All the very best. Take care.